due to, due to dry conditions, preserved land will now be available for livestock to graze on. News Channel 18's Brittany Tyner reports lawmakers move quickly to help livestock producers during the drought. Brittany? Dan, in Indiana alone, about 280,000 acres belong to the Conservation Reserve Program, or CRP. This kind of land usually doesn't have soil erosion and creates wildlife habitats. But now, the U.S. Department of Agriculture has authorized the emergency use of this land for livestock producers. This means livestock producers can use the land to feed their animals during the drought. U.S. representatives asked the USDA to make the CRP lands available. The USDA also declared 36 Indiana counties as primary disaster areas in 19 counties as contiguous disaster areas. So there's going to have to be an arrangement that's going to have to be made between the landlord and a, and a potential tenant, okay, to be able to utilize these acres and not sacrifice the, the CRP program. The effect of that is that's going to help reduce their overall cost to raise these, this livestock and bring, it to, and bring these livestock to market, which means the price for our food as consumers, for your, for your viewers, uh, won't be as high. Cattleman Ron Lemonager says livestock producers, farmers, and landlords are paid by the government to keep livestock and crops off the CRP land. Because of this emergency authorization, CRP land will be uh, used to release or to produce hay, but Lemonager says that won't happen for at least another month. He says hay produced on CRP land will be a lower quality feed due to the dry conditions. Brittany Tyner, News Channel.